Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'd like to discuss about a different kind of wrapping that uh, we can use in this kind of uh, handlebars, the drop bars, which is this wrapping with uh, uh, foam tubing. This is not very common for this kind of uh, handlebar. Foam tubing, I know it's usually more common in other kinds of handlebars, special handlebars for mountain bikes. But in this case here, it looks like the experience was pretty good, at least for the half of my uh, handlebar. And come closer, let's get, have a look on, on this, the softness of, of this, this uh, wrapping. Okay, so this is the, the foam tubing that um, I was talking about. Uh, I purchased this on Amazon. Uh, it came with two tubings like this and two plugs. Um, it came uh, bent, uh, so, but uh, in the end uh, we can use uh, the parts of the tube that are straight and the bent one is not going to be a problem. Uh, the idea... Uh, oops. The string. The idea here is to use a string. You come with a string and uh, you uh, use a tape to fit the string to your handlebar so you know what is the straight uh, uh, length uh, uh, of tube that has to go in each section of your handlebar. So you come with the string putting a, 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 a tape try obviously not to use the internal part of the curves you can use the external worst case scenario you're gonna have to trim uh, the excess uh, with uh, with a blade but don't use the inner uh, uh, portion of the curves otherwise uh, your tube will be short and then uh, that's th that's how you 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 break the tube into uh, sessions that are pretty much uh, the amount that you need uh, well, obviously you have to remove the brake first and then you, you, you put it uh, and uh, you, you measure and put it then you bring the, the brake uh, back again and come with the sec second portion and finally you have the, the plug. This plug is a bit loose in the end of the bar so uh, I use electrical tape one round and it's just enough to, to have it uh, 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 well uh, attached. And uh, one important thing, uh, when I uh, tried the first time this side here, I tried to use alcohol. That's what usually people use, for example, for grips uh, in, in the handlebars. I tried with alcohol, but alcohol dries out very quickly. So I started all this track and the, the, the pipe, the, the foam uh, was not, uh, the, the tubing was, was not uh, going through, like uh, the alcohol dries out very quickly. So another recommendation, and that's that's how I did this second this this part here, is using WD-40. Yes, WD-40. I use WD-40 all around uh, all, all the um, all the length and in, inside the, the the tubing, and then it reached the end very quickly. People say, ah, but it doesn't attach well. I'm not really well, this this side here is well attached. But uh, even though it uh, it slides, uh, it's it's going to be contained between the stem and the brake levers, so that's not big big problem. For the second portion, then yes, then I recommend to use alcohol because uh, then it's going to it's going to be easy to reach this position and it's going to grip well. Um, also, I recommend you to do that in your garage because if you are going to spray a WD-40 here and here, uh, in my case I'm, I'm inside home, but I have a mat here and I'm going to use lots of uh, uh, paper towers in the end because uh, it's, it's just uh, it's a mess. So I'm going to show that uh, in details and uh, I'm going
going to speed up <laughs> just not to be uh, uh, too long and I hope you like it. That's it. So um, this is uh, one technique. Uh, in the end, uh, it was not that complicated uh, as the other side. It took around 20 minutes. Uh, my blades were not the best, so I would recommend having very good blades. Uh, my uh, I had to finish uh, at the end with the scissors, which was not the most uh, the perfect uh, way. But anyway. Overall, it's pretty good. The side here, notice that it's still rotating a little bit because uh, WD-40 didn't dry out fully. It takes uh, some minutes, I would say some hours. This one here, it's, since yesterday, it's, it's well uh, more fit. Uh, and this, this portion here is as well fit because the alcohol already dried out. Uh, and uh, anyway, it's, it's an option. Some people could say, ah, but it's not covering the clamps. Uh, yeah, there is no option for covering the clamps in this, uh, in, in, in this technique. In that case, it would be better to use the tape because with the tape you have some 
contours that you can use to 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 cover the the clamp. In this case here, uh, it, I I I I'm not so I never try to use the tape, but I think it's a technique that requires a lot of patience and uh, some uh, talent. And this one here as well, but not that much. Anyway, brakes are in position. The the, the grips are 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 are, are put. Uh, it's an option. If someone thinks it's interesting and would like to try, give it a try. I would recommend. Thank you very much. Take care.